Uh, so hello everyone and um, today I would like to uh, uh, talk about very exciting product, a web console. Uh, and this uh, console allows to uh, control your web server uh, just uh, using just your browser. And uh, today I am talking uh, with Maxim, one of the um, one of the software developers for this product. Um, uh, this product is free and uh, can be downloaded at web-console.org free of charge, it's open source and um, uh, first of all, uh, very briefly I would like to say uh, about applications why web console is unique and what actually it allows to do there are three major applications for web console uh, first application, it's um, let's let's say you have a shared hosting. You you purchased hosting. It's a very you know base package. It's shared hosting. Let's say you have just one FTP account. You cannot control your web website through SSH or anything. So uh, in this case, you you know you can use web console and just use your browser, and it will will provide you. Uh, some kind of emulation, emulation of uh, SSH access, and uh, if Maxim wants to add something to to this, um, uh, please, please do. Okay, Sergey, uh, right, uh, and if you have uh, shared hosting, you can extend any restriction which provider uh, set up uh, for your basic uh, basic hosting uh, using web console you can install it and uh, get direct access to the command prompt on the server so any command which you will type on your browser will be transferred to the web server and execute on the web server directly uh, under the web server account and any output which this command uh, uh, will provide to the web server back will be transferred back to the web console and you will see output of this command so it could be any kind uh, of the command for example change directory remove some file archive file actually it's full control of your server and it works through the web it's web-based application uh, using port number 80 mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Maxim. That was very useful. And if you don't understand all this, uh, we will uh, in the second part of this video we will have a demonstration of how it works. So, uh, second application, and now I'll go to to the picture here on 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 web console website. Uh, second application is when administrator wants to administer, um, uh, let's say you want to administer a website on a web server which has a um, very tight uh, security so essentially all ports are blocked let's say you know only port uh, port number 80 is allowed and so in this case um, you know it may have tight security for everyone but if you have um, you know web console software you you can uh, and you need to administer the server you know, you can lift this um, this restriction for yourself. So again, I I uh, I, I want to ask Maxim to uh, to maybe correct me or uh, add something something else. Uh, yes, yeah, the second application is let's imagine you administrator for some web server, yeah, and usually to provide very fast access to your web server, uh, what some organization doing they they just uh, configure uh, your web uh, your computer your server and just move whole computer to the provider site yeah and uh, provider just host your full computer uh, and uh, you like administrator need to run some administrative routines on that computer uh, a straightforward solution is use uh, SSH access or telnet access to the uh, computer and run some uh, administration function uh, on the uh, command prompt but if the some security policy is very tight like Sergey said before 
and provider block anything except uh, port number 80. Port number 80 have to be open for the uh, uh, web server because all traffic uh, to website uh, passing through this uh, port. Uh, you can use a web console like uh, getaway to the command prompt. Yeah, You just install it on the server go to the some predefined uh, URL uh, and just uh, receive uh, access to the command prompt where again you can type any command or uh, for example you can configure some batch files like archive whole directory and run this batch file uh, from the web console as well uh, this is not only administration for the website uh, command prompt using command prompt you can run any administration comment on the server like add new user remove new user uh, change permission to the file uh, anything what you like mm -hmm. okay all right so uh now let's go to to the last you know final case uh and this third case when a uh, web console could be very handy uh, for example, you know, this case is when you, let's say you travel and you go to, you know, you, you go to the other country, let's say you go to, you know, maybe France or Germany and, uh, uh, you know, you, ju you can just go to, inter uh, well, literally you can go to internet cafe and, uh, uh, you know, use, uh, just using browser, you can control your server or execute something on your server. Again, I turn to Maxim to, to maybe add something to, to this case. This is, is another advantage uh, of the web console. This application doesn't require any client side or configuration. Uh, so you can reach any computer which have web browser, uh, type uh, URL for the web console, and as a result you can make some routines on your server. So for some program like SSH, you have to uh, make some configuration of your client computer to get control of the server. Uh, in case of the web console, you don't have to make this configuration. Any browser uh, like uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer can be used uh, for the administrative purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would like to thank Maxim for these clarifications. And just in, in a little bit, we will go to the part number two. In this part, we will uh, provide instructions on how to install Web Console and how to use it. Please um, continue to the second part.